I had my first research experience when I was a final year undergraduate student at Hong Kong U. Since then, I have developed a strong passion for cancer research. My research asks fundamental questions of how gene mutations favor cancer development and how to target these mutations effectively with cancer drugs. Our goal is to identify potential molecular targets for cancer therapies through exploring novel genome-informed therapeutic approaches and deriving strategies to overcome cancer drug resistance. Solving these scientific questions is similar to solving puzzle games. Although the process is difficult, the sense of accomplishment when we can finally put the pieces together is rewarding. Our finding contributes to the better understanding of cancers and form the basis of further clinical studies, ultimately improving cancer patient outcomes. We often encounter negative results in experiments. I will stay open-minded, humble, yet confident in finding better ways to treat cancer. I think sleep is a fascinating phenomenon where we enter an unconscious mental state every day. And in fact, it takes up, up to one third of our life. My research focus is on sleep and sleep disorders. Essentially, my work aims to understand how sleep affects our daily function and physical and mental well-being. As a clinical psychologist by training, I hope to translate my research into practice and develop treatments to enhance sleep and health in different groups of people in need. Working closely with my students and research collaborators, we are currently developing effective interventions to improve sleep and mental health problems in young people. We have been running several clinical trials to examine different formats of treatments in children and adolescents. We also hope to promote awareness of the importance of sleep and increase accessibility to evidence-based sleep education and intervention to the general public. Doing research on sleep is like going on adventures, as there's still much we do not really know about its functions. There may be hurdles in this journey, but also excitement and anticipation. I hope that by improving people's sleep, our teamwork can ultimately improve people's well-being. My innate curiosity in water started when I was a kid. Watching bubbles rising up from within the lake near my house in Chongqing. Those bubbles led me to study hydrology in college and all the way through to my passion for research. A kind of passion that has made me one almost like a being in a full marathon. It was May 2016 in my field work in the Upper Yellow River and the Tibetan Plateau. When our floating chamber was washed away due to a sudden release of water by an upstream reservoir, we finally chased the chamber along the Yellow River for five hours and got the data back. Now, at the University of Hong Kong, I'm interested in the complexity of freshwater ecosystems, the significant variations of the biogeochemical cycle of carbon in inland waters, and the future trends of inland water carbon cycle under the impact of global change. These are my bubbles today. I look forward to contributing to Hong Kong's and China's dual carbon goals and carbon neutrality, and also the sustainable development in Hong Kong, mainland China, and beyond. Isn't it fascinating that tiny particles can spontaneously assemble and form beautiful superstructures? I'm a materials chemist who works on colloids, which are tiny particles with size roughly 1% of the diameter of human hair. Colloidal particles can be found in everyday items, such as milk, paint, and glasses, but are also crucial elements for constructing functional materials with advanced photonic, optical, and mechanical properties. Commonly, colloidal particles are spherical and have isotropic surfaces. They interact with each other in all directions and form really simple structures. 
In my lab, we developed strategies to synthesize anisotropic colloids. They're non-spherical and have patterned surfaces. They can interact and assemble into many new superstructures and achieve new functions. Our lab is like a relaxing, supportive, and creative hub where we explore new territory in materials design and fabrication. Being innovative and doing creative sciences are our main goals. I remember how excited I was the first time seeing my new lab, and after this many years, I still feel that excitement whenever a new particle are being designed or created in my lab. I believe in the future, making colloidal materials is just like putting together Lego pieces, and our effort can improve the property of many products. Studying space physics and doing research in planetary science is like a dream come true. I've been super attracted to planetary and space exploration since I was a child. After all these years, this adventure is still full of surprises. A few years ago, when I first developed the supercomputing model for Jupiter's global magnetic field, I thought something went completely wrong as it looked nothing like how it is seen on Earth. Before I was about to delete the model, my collaborators who are observational experts stopped me and said that it perfectly fits their observations. I work on different planets from time to time and focus on studying space and providing a virtual environment that can be potentially useful in future space mission design before sending actual spacecraft there. There are still a lot of unknowns and a whole new universe awaits discovery out there. I will keep doing what I enjoy and enjoying what I do. I run three kilometers in the early morning almost every day as I want to constantly remind myself that good research requires a similar combination of speed and persistence as a three kilometers race. I have broad research interests in law economics, particularly in transnational legal issues facing global businesses. In the past few years, the changing political and economic landscape in China as well as its constant evolving relationship with the global major powers in the world have presented tremendous opportunities and challenges for researchers. So I have to work very hard in order to push myself to achieve breakthroughs in my research findings. My hard work does pay off. I have been awarded four times the Concurrent Antitrust Writing Award, which is an annual reward that uh, selects the best article published in the field of antitrust law. Also, my first book, Chinese Antitrust Exceptionalism, How the Rise of China Challenges Global Regulations, garnered significant media attention since its release and was selected as the best political economy book of the year by ProMarket in 2021. I see myself as a product of globalization. I was born and raised in China, educated in both China and the United States, practiced law in three different jurisdictions before joining academia. So despite globalization's recent decline, I remain a strong advocate for globalization. And I do hope that my research can build a bridge as well as to promote peace between China and the West so that we and our children can live in a world that is free from violence, hatred and war.